Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be converting this Predator 9500. We're going to be taking off that, what everybody worries about, neutral bonded to frame. We're going to have it floating. But what I need you guys to understand is, even though you, you convert your generator to a floating ground, when you use it on your RV or a transfer switch, you still need it to be bonded. See, it comes bonded, so you can use it on your RV, transfer switch. It's when you go to uh, trying to use it on your inlet box. That's when it needs to be floating. And the reason it needs to be floating is your house. Your house box is already bonded. So you can't have two bonded as per code. That's why you need to have this one floating. Okay? I'm going to show you how to do that. All right, guys, this is the Predator 9500. Let's do it. All right, first thing we're going to do is try to get our front panel off. But we need to get this front panel off. You have to take off one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine screws in the front. I've already pulled off most of them. I'm going to pull the rest on the top. Once you get those off, then you have six more on the front panel remove and you should be on your way to getting this thing grounded up let's get this one off and get started okay guys let's get started on all the way around all the way around there's nine of them three four five six seven eight nine Next thing you're going to do is remove a little screw. On your selector, just stick a Phillips screwdriver in there. Unscrew it. Pull that out. Make sure you don't lose this screw, okay? Go ahead and pry this off. Okay, guys, while you pull this, the nine screws off, there's six of these little clamps you have to kind of pull out, okay? And they're on the side, six of them. Go ahead and switch your tool. And the 5 16th is what I used on those first nine screws. Now you get these six screws out. Once you get those six screws out, your face plate is out. Nice and loose. You can't really turn it around. Don't pull it too tight. You don't want to mess anything up. You, you should have enough access on the bottom. I'm going to switch the camera view so I can show you what I'm working with. Okay. So this is what we want to do. You see that white wire and the green wire together? You're just going to separate the white wire. The green and the other small ground will remain there. That white wire needs to come off. Get this off, it's a 10. The first one shouldn't be that tight. You can just pull it off with the washers. Now get you a 10 socket or wrench. Just loose it. Go ahead and pull that other one out. Like I said, it's not very tight. Get the washers off. You're gonna put them back the exact same way. Reach back there, pull that ground out. Now you see the white wire? I'm just going to separate the white wire. White wire is out. Now, if that's all you're going to do, is just put it back in there, get the white wire out. You would put the ground back in with the washers and everything. Slide that washer back on there. I know you guys can't see, but it's simple. I'm just putting the nut back in that hole. All right. There you go. Then you put the two washers, the flat washer, lock washer, and the 10. 
tighten that down. Torque it down with this. Alright, now you can see. Go ahead and tighten that back. Not too tight. Hand tight. Now, this right here. The white wire you took off. Just tape it up real good. And tuck it back in there. It should not get in anything. It's just a neutral. There's no power coming to it. Unless you have a fault. So just tape it up real good with electrical tape. You can put some plastic around it, electrical tape, just seal it up real good. Get you some zip tie and tie it on the back side of all that wire. That's, just, that's it. You're good. Let me do that right now. All right, guys, just take your neutral wire, pull it down as much as you can, and we're going to insulate this thing with uh, electrical tape. Just keep going around until you get it properly insulated. I know a lot of people are so scared of electrical work. As long as the generator is off and you can remove a bolt and a nut, you can do this. Get that wire, tuck it up. I'm going to get some tie wrap and just secure it to the back. That's it. Just reinstall your six screws. All right, we got our six bolts back on. Now, all you have to do is put your the shield back on. And remember those six uh, clips? Just tap on them, make them stick, clip in. Put your selector valve back in. Catch it. There you go. One. All right, guys, that is it. That is absolutely it to get your generator from a bonded to a floating. So simple. Predator 9500, now you have a floating generator. Now you can use it to your few inlet box. Let's go ahead and fire it up. Go to run. Go to choke. Okay guys, I just showed you how to uh, convert your generator from a bonded neutral to a floating neutral. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Real simple. Like I said, if you can just take some screws off and follow the instructions, you can have this done. Only if you're going to use this on your um, inlet box, I would do this. If you're using a transfer switch or your RV, you don't have to go floating because they actually recommend to keep it bonded. Alright, and that's it. So. Guys, if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, hit that subscribe button. Guys, thanks again. 
Thanks for watching. Bye.